up guys, it's Trek, and you know, we're doing a video every day in December, so we gotta, we gotta pace ourselves through, and you know who isn't helping us do a video every day in December? Hasbro. Between falling off their hyper horse and just releasing possibly their worst year of blasters in like the last decade and a half, um, there just isn't a whole lot of Hasbro hype to talk about. That said, they did get one thing right, and oh boy am I glad. Coming in at $15 a pop, these are the brand new Hammer Shot repaints, and I said repaints because they're actually painted. They're not more expensive, they're the same retail as a regular Hammer Shot, but there's a variety of flavors now to choose from, including one that's got red body plastic. Where did this come from? How do you make mistake after mistake after mistake and then just blow it out of the park? Like just blow it out of the water, hit it out of the park, nail it with three all very compelling, very cool paint jobs where there's paint on both sides. I have no complaints about these guys. And after just months of being so emotionally exhausted by opening up Hasbro packaging and getting out disappointment after disappointment after MA40 and then more disappointments. We have like some seriously cool hammer shots. So the hammer shot is for those of you that have been under a rock, the best revolver Hasbro's ever made. A lot of people like the strong arm. I think that the Maverick is literally a cultural icon to the nth degree. Uh, it's what most people, especially like the boomer generation, think of when they're like, what is a Nerf gun? Uh, but the hammer shot blows it out all the water. It's uh, one hand wieldable, one hand primable, revolver that delivers the hits, a litany of aftermarket things for everything from fan firing to improved cylinders, uh, et cetera, et cetera, and so forth. People have chopped these up, I've chopped them up, painted them, put leather handles on them, everything you can possibly imagine. The Hammer Shot is a five shot wonder of an HVZ revolver. You can put them here, you can put them here, they're great. That said, the thing that they haven't done is ever really evolved or changed. There haven't been a lot of repaints for the hammer shot. There hasn't been a lot of flavor evolution to it. It was always the zombie strike pistol that uh, had a little bit of Wild West flavor left in it. These are great. And again, they're painted on both sides and they're priced fairly. I can't tell you what a surprise and sigh of relief that is. So this is half an awareness video, but I wanna talk about each one. I wanna give you some glamor shots of each one. They are really, really cool. They ship in an Amazon frustration-free packaging. They cost $15, which is pretty standard for a revolver like this. They hit standard hammer shot FPS, which is to say a little bit under elite standard performance usually, but very forgivable at this price point. And I would lay 20 FPS at the altar of one hand wieldable uh, Malcolm Reynolds uh, wheel gun action. Like this thing is cool. So this one, uh, they all have different names. I'm not gonna go through the names for them. This one is red with a white accenting and it's got these really cool like tick marks on it. Like you're going through and every time you bust a zombie, you're like, oh, chalk up another one. And the cool thing about it is that the deco is different on both sides. You've got a little bit of like fade and splatter weathering, uh, and then you've got more uh, cross hatches on the other side. Just really, really cool. I like this a lot. This is probably my favorite one, particularly because I think that sanded down and weathered, just the almost crimson strike style red, for those of you that remember that iconic uh, Nerf kind of coloring scheme, I think that this has a lot of potential to be weathered down and just it's a red bodied hammer shot. I can't tell you how many hammer shots I painted to get this color. So this is really cool. Uh, for people who feel similarly, this one is, I believe, base color actual like neon slime green plastic. And that's sort of the theme of this one. It's got like dripping goo coming down off of it. It's painted. It's got a purpley sort of toxic looking thing. If, if Grimer had a hammer shot, this would be it. Very cool, same principle, one hand wieldable, easy to spin, very comfortable. Just a really, really cool revolver that delivers the hits. This one's like more of a, like I said, a toxic sludge kind of zombie feel, but great deco. And again, it's on this side. It's also on this side. And this is such like a, a lesson, a takeaway for the mothership that they already know. And I'm kind of beating a dead horse by pointing it out. But like, if you have all of this necessary legalese that you have to put on one side of the blaster, nothing kind of 
parses over that and makes it a little more acceptable, a little more palatable, like consistent design language, blending it in here, playing around it, like making it look good. This looks like you literally pulled it out of a sludge like bin that said radioactive on it and you pulled it out like this. The goo is dripping off of it as you do so. This is cool design language start to finish. It tells a story without telling a story and that's just the brilliance of good industrial design, visual imagery. This one's possibly the least exciting one, but I love it all the same. It gives me mad gear up vibes. It's got pseudo bumblebee vibes all at once. It's orange, yellow, black with striping. Europe was a great color scheme that Hasbro did. Uh, throwback to when Vortex was launching. That was, of course, orange with black distress stripes on it. This almost has like a caution tape sort of vibe. And again, it looks like the kind of thing that you just pulled out of a crime scene and it was taped over and you just had to start blasting zombies immediately because the world is ending and you, I don't know. I like it a lot. Same thing, same iconography. You still have to have the caution logos here, but how wonderful that they're broken up by paint on both sides of the blaster. So as much as this is like, hey guys, there's new hammer shots out there. They come in three delicious flavors and they're fairly priced over at Amazon. I will throw some affiliate links in the description box down below if you wanna support the channel. If you don't wanna support the channel, just search up Nerf Hammer Shot on Amazon. However, uh, this is almost just like, you know, a love letter here at the end of the year that's like, I know that we had some differences. I know that you launched some awful products. I know that I said some mean things about your awful products, but Hasbro, the hammer shot's my favorite revolver. Thanks, guys. You, you did, this one's, this one's really good. I'm not gonna get all mushy on you, but like, these are pretty sweet. So I'm taking my $45 bundle of joy, and now I've just gotta figure out a way to put all three of them into the same loadout. Much love, Drac out.